Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com in the US. Today it's a simple watercolor, I should call it maybe watercolor wash with the sea, sea shell uh, die and the embossing folder. So this is the die. I'm going to have a video at the end of this one that I did for the basic how simple it is how to use uh, the die, the embossing folder and the stamp set. This is kind of a trio that all coordinate together and I get a bunch of cards that I'm going to share. I get a few on my desk here. It is gorgeous. Okay, so let's do the watercolor and I'm going to share a fun way how to tie that up together. So I got a piece of scrappy paper here. I already die cut first my um, on watercolor paper. So I die cut first and then I put it in my embossing folder. You're just going to match it. You're going to see it's a perfect match. So the die, the stamp set, the folder all coordinate very lovely together. So after I die cut and uh, die cut and emboss, I'm going to use my spritz uh, water. But let's get, I'm going to use pool party. You can put re-anchor like on a piece of, um, not a piece, but on a color uh, block, a clear block, or on the wax paper, whatever works for you. This one I need maybe on a block. I don't have any. Um, I'm going to put that crumb cake right there. You know what? We're going to use it all on the block. That's going to be easier. I'm going to use a uh, petal pink. And I'm going to use so saffron. I just mix a few colors that I did like the combo. And then pool party. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and spritz our paper. This is watercolor paper. I hope I took, yes, because I cut a bunch in advance. And so I like to spritz it so it's wet but not dripping, okay? Plenty wet, I should say. I'm using my water painter here. And make sure you get water and squeeze it till your brush is very wet not just a little bit but it's very wet I'm gonna start with I'm gonna bring my chair here it's gonna be easier I'm gonna start with the big one make sure that my water is spread and I'm gonna use a um, crumb cake that I got here and I'm gonna rub this here and you see it was not wet enough there so I got big blob but that's okay for this shell I think it's very okay you can even squeeze the water. See, that work even better. That worked very lovely, to be honest. Just squeeze the water. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little bit of the brown in here. Brown, it's the crumb cake. And over here. Just a little bit in this one here. Okay, now you could let it dry or we're going to go ahead. I'm looking for my inky rag. That, oh, here it is. I'm going to make sure my brush is washed. And I'm just going to tap it. Usually I would let it dry, but this is going to do the trick. Now I'm going to go with So Saffron. Again, you want to make sure you get plenty of water. Put the so saffron just in the center here. I'm going to put it on the side a bit. And over here. Squeeze the water on top seem to do a lovely trick here. Oh, I need a little bit more color here. Okay, now I'm just going to tap this. The reason why you want to tap it, it's because you don't want it just to have a puddle, okay? I'm going to go ahead and use the pink now. That's the petal pink. And add a little bit of the pink. 
the pink it's almost like a calypso but it's petal pink that I use okay it really looked darker here but it's because I get quite a bit of ink I just marbleized that a bit now this one I'm going to go all around it and I'm going to brush a little bit more. And the last step we're going to do is the weed, the seaweed. And we're going to use, um, here we go. Can have a little bit more of the yellow here. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to go with some blue, but very little. The blue, it's more like almost like a green that you see sometimes that pearl on a shell. I'm just squeeze here. Just gonna let do its work. So see, I just gonna squeeze and let it do its work. Oh, am I running out of water? No, I still have some. Here, this one just a little bit. Here we go. Oh, this one don't have any color, so I'm going to have a little bit more blue on this one. Remember, blue and green, uh, blue and yellow going to do green. Now let me tap a little bit. This one need a little bit of the brown. Just going to let that do the trick. Now I'm going to bring um, old olive. And you see I get plenty of ink here. I could really one, two drop, you get plenty. It go a long ways. Now I'm gonna go ahead, my brush is clean, and I'm just gonna add my water here. You see I get other color on that, that's perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna make sure I get plenty of water and I'm gonna color this. Even if you still have some white, you want variation in your color. And I just go ahead and squeeze. And it's better if you wet it first. Now I'm going to put the inside. Don't forget the inside here. Those little vine or weed in the back. And some of them on the other card that I ah, see, I get dark here. That's okay. I want variation, right? Um, I use a little bit of the pink on this and the reason why I use some of the pink it's like more like the calypso in the water but um, the calypso the coral in the water you can this one it's more weed I don't have really the uh, all those vine but I mix a little bit so it gives some of that tone here so I'm just going to keep on adding. And while it's still, it won't dry. I let it dry naturally when I'm done. But before it dry completely, I went ahead and re-emboss it. The reason why I emboss it a second time, it's because it seemed that I'm losing a little bit of the, the texture. When I paint, it's like it's fading or I don't know. And this is going to bring it even more very pronounced. One thing, if your uh, ink is still wet when you're going to do that, you want to rinse your embossing folder after. Because if not, the next time you're going to come to do your uh, embossing, you're going to have some color on your embossing uh, folder that you didn't want it there. So you see, it looked kind of blah, right? Well, let me... This year, I'm just going to take a wipe and wipe that up. I'm going to put that aside for now. So let me remove this here. I want to bring that closer to you because you're going to say that look like a mud puddle. And I always say finish your project before you judge it, okay? So you can see that look like a mud puddle. Well, let's bring that in here. We're going to match that again. See, it's very lovely to match. It's such a nice bundle. We, we never had something like that. This makes me very excited. Now I'm going to close this. I'm going to run that in the machine. Just one second. And now...
boom and when it dry you're going to be amazed on how all this it's going to pop now when it's dry i use my i think you can see all the detail on this and see all the colors and that i just love it and first it looked like i had a mud puddle right but when you re-emboss it again it's amazing i took my wink of stilla and i just did on top where it's embossed and then I would say let it dry a little bit more so you don't mix more of the color. But now you see how I've done this. So I will have the finished card on my blog. Right below you get the direct link with this one also. But let's see what I'm going to do with the one that I finished and it's dry. You don't want to mount that till it's completely dry, okay? So I put dimensional in the back. And we're going to remove uh, the backing of the dimensional and then I'm going to use it this is a new ribbon that we get you can use it, any ribbon but it's a fine art ribbon the one in the fine art it's a very soft ribbon with the gold in it and I thought this is going to be perfect so we're going to slide that in between so when you open the card you're going to see the ribbon also and when in the front Okay, so let's bring this here. You're going to pass your card here. So uh, the card base is going to need to be four and a quarter by eleven score at five and a quarter. We're going to bring this, place those two end together. Bring your um, didn't remove this little one there. And we're going to put in the hole between the long one and this one. I know they get name. I don't know the name of my shell. They all see shell to me. And just pull this. Now, don't pay attention to your ribbon right now. What you want to pay attention, it's where you're going to glue this. So you want to make sure it fits in the card front. Don't go over on the side or on the bottom. Okay, now that it's done. You're going to press this. Now you want to make sure it's straight in the back. If not, you're going to have to do some twisty motion. And then pull this. Now we're going to do single knot and then, an, so really a double knot. So I'm going to tie this. Well, here we go. Under. And go up and down. The first knot you want to do is up and down. Now you want to make sure that it's tight, it's not moving, but it don't curve your card. Keep this down, bring the top down to the left, the one on the right, put it on top and under, and then go sideways. Now we're going to have a square knot here, see, a beautiful square knot in the center of this, and this is very a soft uh, one. Now I'm going to take this and I'm not putting greeting at the top in the front I should say. I'm just putting a greeting inside and I cut this di diagonal. This one can be a little bit shorter maybe. Here we go. Et voila! How beautiful that is, right? And inside I stamped the sand dollar and with gray granite and this is in um, Old Olive, you are unique and completely amazing. I love that greeting. So this is, was on very vanilla. The card base was very vanilla thick, okay? You want, you want the thick cardstock for your card base because you really tied that ribbon. Now this one here, I will use the same ribbon, but we're going to put it on crumb cake. See as it dry, the color are all coming to life and we get all the embossing. So that is it, how I done the watercolor. Again, I will have all the color that I use, the supplies right below in the direct link. You gonna, um, it's going to bring you to my blog post and all the information is going to be there. And you can order the product 24-7 right there, all that live in the U.S. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.